Hi friends, welcome back to Pastor Kevin and Friends. I am so glad that you could join me. Hey, I've got something kind of interesting today. Would you ever want to read a book that didn't have words? Would it still be a book if it didn't have words? Well, there are picture books. But what about if it was a book without any pictures? I've got a lot of those. It's just books full of words. But what if a book didn't have pictures or words? Would you still be interested? I have one. I brought it with me today. And the first page here, it's gold. And that gold reminds me of something beautiful. It reminds me of heaven. And heaven is going to be a beautiful place. The Bible tells us there are streets of gold. So I can't wait to get there. But there's one thing, and it's really the sad part of this book, the sad part of this story. Yeah, we've all sinned. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And sin keeps us out of heaven. Sin is anything we say, do, or think that goes against God's word, the Bible. And when we don't do what God's word says, we don't do what the Bible says. Well, we are living in sin. God does not like sin. But here's the good news. God sent his son, Jesus, and Jesus died on the cross for your sins and my sins. Yes, Jesus shed his blood on the cross for you and for me. And when he died on the cross, it made it possible for us to have a relationship with him. The Bible tells us that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us of all unrighteousness. Though our sins be like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Yes, Jesus has the power to wash away our sins. Now, when we ask Jesus to be our forever friend, here's another great part of the story. We become children of the King. We become children of the Most High God. And so we're king, king, uh, King's kids. But not only that, we want to keep doing this. We want to grow in Jesus. When things are living and they're growing, they're green. The grass is green. The trees are green. They're growing. How do we grow? We grow by reading God's word. And God's word is true. God's word is faithful. Have you ever seen a caterpillar? Caterpillars are an amazing little creature that God has made. They crawl along the ground and they start eating leaves and stuff. And there comes a point in their life where they hide. They make a cocoon. They spin this material around their bodies and they stay in there for a long time. While they're in there, there is a change being made. They're being transformed into something brand new. When we ask Jesus to be our forever friend, we are being changed from the inside out. Kind of like that cocoon. We are wrapped up. We're being changed. The old is gone. The new is coming. Something brand new is about to happen. And what that is for us here is that we, like the caterpillar, become something brand new. A brand new by knowing Jesus as your forever friend and following him in obedience through baptism and doing, again, what God's word says. Hey, have a great day. Pastor Kevin's always glad to be with you. Bye-bye.